you guys are excited for Call of Duty World War 2 and want a chance to win a copy of the game when it releases later this fall, all you need to do is leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, and leave a comment down below. After you've done all that, you're entered to win a copy of Call of Duty World War 2 on your console of choice later this year. Yo, what's up guys? What is going on? Zach or Immortal here. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by once again. As always, today guys, we are jumping back into the world of, well, Call of Duty in general to talk about one small feature that I think would be incredibly underappreciated in Call of Duty, yet one of the most useful tools we have ever seen in the game. What I'm talking about is the ability to avoid joining games in progress. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I play Call of Duty, the fun in it for me is being able to go into a pregame lobby, know which map I'm playing, and have a general idea of the enemies I'm going to be playing. If I land in a pregame lobby with, say, two maps that I'm not really a big fan of, and the one that I really don't like it gets voted for for whatever reason, I don't have to stay in that lobby, I can quickly just back out and join a new lobby. Say I happen to join a lobby and I notice that there are four enemies on the other team that are all level 1000 and they're in a party together. I might not want to play against that, so I can just very quickly back out and find a new lobby. However, something that I feel like happens all too often when I'm playing Call of Duty is I go to find a new match and I just get thrown into a match that has already started, a match in progress. And the vast majority of the time, I get thrown onto a losing team on a map that I'm probably not too fond of against enemies who already have streaks up or they have complete map control. That's a hopeless game at that point. That's a waste of time match in my mind at that point, especially if they're, if you're playing at a time where there's a contract out, say in Black Ops 3, you're going for the Grand Slam wins or the Triple Play wins. You don't want to waste your time getting thrown into a match that is seven minutes in and you're losing by 40 points in Domination or by 25 kills in TDM. That's just a waste of time because you're not going to come back from that deficit. Chances are that enemy team has all their streaks up and they got the map control, so it's, it's hopeless to try and come back and either get that win or balance out the match by yourself and I feel like that's a situation that I run into basically every single time I play Call of Duty. Very, very rarely do I play a session of Call of Duty where I don't get thrown into multiple matches in progress, typically on the losing team against a good enemy party with score streaks or kill streaks up, and they're just completely dominating us. And that is a match that I immediately back out of and I go and find a new match. And then it, the same thing happens and I get frustrated and I quit playing Call of Duty for the day. But to me, that's like three or four minutes of just wasted time, you know? You first have to get thrown into that match, the loading screen takes forever, you finally get into the lobby, you pull up the scoreboard and you realize XXX quick scope, no scope, XX headshot on the other team is going 40 to 7 and has a wraith up and raps incoming and a hater up and you're getting obliterated. Your entire team is and so you're like, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stay in this. So you know, by the time you back out to the main menu, get there and then search for a new lobby, which you'll probably get thrown into another match in progress, that's like five minutes out the window where you literally accomplished nothing but loaded into a game, saw you were getting obliterated, backed out, and then loaded into another game. Like, that to me is just such a big waste of time. If I'm playing Call of Duty, I want to constantly get thrown into a lobby, load up the match, and start that match from scratch just like everybody else in the lobby. So, now you might be saying, Zach, you've talked for three minutes about this little feature that you think would be really, really helpful. What is this little feature? Well, here's my idea. What if Call of Duty implemented a feature where if you are matchmaking, you're searching for a match, and you seem to stumble across a connection that the game thinks is best, but it's a match that is already in progress. What if you got a little notification, a little pop-up on your screen that says, attention, the match you are about to join has already started, or the match you are about to join is already in progress. The current score, say you're playing Domination, is 90 to 57, or you're playing TDM, the current score is enemy team 65, your team 32. I would assume that most players would see that and say, uh, there's no way that I want to join that, that's not going to be fun, that game's going to be over in just a second, I'm not going to have time to ch even try and win that match, and chances are I'm going to get destroyed if I join into that match when the enemies have all their streaks up and whatnot. So you'd have the option to say, hey, would you like to join this match in progress? And you can select yes or you can select no. Obviously, if you select yes, you can get thrown into that chaos and just continue to get obliterated. Or you can select no where the matchmaking just restarts and hopefully it'll throw you into a fresh pre-game lobby. I think this feature would be something that is super underappreciated, yet so many people would take advantage of. Because it's not a big feature at all, it's just a little pop-up notification that allows you to not join games in progress if you don't want to, which I feel like almost every player would utilize at some point or another, but 
it's not a big thing, you know, it's not this massive game-changing aspect that they'd be throwing into the game. It's a very small thing, but I, to me, it fixes a big problem with what sort of uh, turns me away from wanting to grind Call of Duty. Because if I'm playing a session and I constantly just get thrown into matches and the, I'm getting obliterated by an enemy team that already has all their streaks and my team has no map control, I'm just going to stop playing Call of Duty for that day because at that point, it's just not fun anymore. So. I feel like if this was a feature in Call of Duty, it would save so much time and add so much more of a fun, fast-paced aspect to just being able to play the game more, have more of a balanced playing field. I, I literally think that this would be a huge feature, despite the fact that it's such a small addition to the game. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you guys agree that this would be a dope feature to add, or if you guys just enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up, slap that like button, it would be much appreciated. And if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so as well as turn on those channel notifications that way you get a notification every single time a new video or stream it goes live in the future that is going to wrap things up for today i will catch you guys in the next video until then take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and of course don't forget to smile because you are never going to regret it peace out